So hi guys, um, so today we're going to talk about aspects of a home and today's subject is going to be basement so it's what the house is built on especially in Wisconsin here now we know so why do we have basements well the reason being the footings have to be below the frost level so about two or three feet down is where it freezes in the winter so we need to get below that so the ideal situation is because we can be building at least four feet down below the house is to put in a basement so they typically go eight foot or more uh, some cases are a little bit less so uh, if you have to duck sometimes you will now these can be built out of many materials one is filled stone so the older type uh, farmhouses etc they would be built on big boulders you know big rocks that they would pile up cement between them and they would typically be quite a thick wall very sturdy and they would just build them up to a level uh, sometimes you'll see half and half so it'll be filled stone on the lower half maybe three or four feet and then it will go to brick on top of that um, so obviously brick is another material that you can build the walls on a basement out of generally that's a two two skins so two layers of bricks built up with sometimes a cavity in between uh, an air gap if you like they can be built out of block which is very common um, however block can crack at times and the latest method uh, and the more popular method now is poured concrete so they put a frame in and they pour the concrete between the frame with some metal in there um, to strengthen it so I've got several examples here of how it's built so if we look here you can see this is a block but it could easily be brick the way they build it that goes down onto a platform to spread the load of the wall because don't forget this is going up at least two stories possibly three and then the floor level of the basement so down the side here we've got backfill so if I go to a lower picture you can see so this is like gravel this is backfill this is insulation on the outside of the concrete so this is showing a typical board concrete level with rebar in there to strengthen it you also have a slab that's poured on top of that but that's why um, we have like a drain tile so this is what's called the drain tile um, where the shingle underneath the water can come up from the ground at times and we need to remove that so the easiest way to do that is have a soak away system where it soaks away or to put in a sump pump so some houses they found that they put a lower point in where the water can drain into and we have a pump that pumps it outside again so it gets removed from the property so they are the typical you can see it a little bit better there so they're the typical uh, ways of building a basement uh, especially in this neck of the woods now not all uh, states will, would have uh, basements like Florida for instance they very rarely have basements because the land is too damp there um, whereas we do we have lots of basements um, you know I've typically come across people that have never had basements in their life they've just moved to this area and so we educate them on the different types of basement and what to look out for so you can see this is the wall going down here this is your garden your backyard and so the water comes up gets met by the barrier and will travel down alongside the wall um, so we want that to be moved away so that's why these downspouts are typically four to six feet 
or anything up to eight feet away from the house so it gives the chance for the water to drain away further away from the side of the basement that way you get no ingress so but if not we have these drain tiles people refer to them as a French drain uh, but the drain tile is all this underneath here so it helps the water disperse it allows it to move away from the house so it doesn't come into the house uh, sometimes if you do get water coming into the house uh, check out the grading of the land around at the surface because it may be pitched towards the house some erosion may have gone on one of your downspouts may have come on you know unhooked and it's now coming straight down alongside the side of the basement and running down the foundation then come winter time that water has nowhere to go it freezes when water freezes it expands so when it expands it can force the wall in and that's what causes cracking stuff like that it's called hydrostatic pressure so the water freezes it moves apart it has nowhere to go so eventually something has to give unfortunately the weakest point there is not the soil around it that goes for you know hundreds of yards it's going to be the wall okay so that's why we want to get as much water away from the basement wall as possible that's why we have downspouts with the extensions on that take the water away from the house we have grading that should drop one an inch every foot away from the house so any snow when it melts it will run away from the house any rain that falls will run away from the house we have the extensions so any water coming off the roof is going to run away from the house and then finally our last bit of defense if you like is the sump pump if we have a sump pump in the house not all houses have them but if you do then the sump pump will be the lowest point of your house all water will drain towards that and then it gets pumped from there up and out of a pipe that will go many many feet away from the house to move as much water as possible away from the house so if you've got a bone dry sump pump just check make sure it works every so often you know pour a bucket of water in there if you have to uh, just check it make sure it works um, some people even have battery backups so that if there's a power outage um, they know they're still safe they can still um, it still keeps the basement nice and dry so that's a little bit about basements um, if you have any questions obviously get in touch with me and we'll be happy to answer them but there's the details of how a basement is built so what is it it's either field stone brick block or poured concrete poured concrete has got to be better it's stronger and i'm coming through to you from my basement so my basement i have a little finished area here for my office and uh that's what a lot of people are doing they're using them in they're mo making them into usable space within the house so some people can finish a basement not all basements are suitable to being finished because they're pretty quirky they could be low ceilings uh, you know there could be damp in there because some of them weren't actually designed to be perfectly dry they do allow some moisture in and uh, so yeah that's why people put stuff up on pallets if you like to keep things dry in the basement but they can all you know you can get companies in that will put in a new uh, French drain or weatherproofing to stop that happening hope this has been useful for you and I'll speak to you again on the next subject Bye for now.